Hi YouTube, so today I'll be making an overview of why I believe Windows XP is one of the best virtual machines to use using Parallels Desktop. And I'll be going several reasons why I actually use Windows XP using Parallels Desktop in a virtual machine. So just so you guys know, I actually do also use Windows 7, so I'm not very biased. I have it here under Bootcamp. And as you can see through my other videos that I do indeed use Windows 7, but I'll explain why I use Windows XP mostly in my virtual machine. So the main reason why I, use uh, why I use Windows XP is because the amount of disk space that it uses. Windows XP by default only uses several gigs because it's very old and it doesn't use up that much space on effects such as Arrow, etc. If you're not using Arrow or other effects, you won't even notice them, especially if you enter modes such as coherence. So that's just an extra burden that Mac OS X has to handle while you're not even fully experiencing it. Windows XP gets rid of that, and you can even run Windows XP on as low as 512 megabytes of RAM. This is a feature that you won't find on Windows 7 because there are different like prefetch, prefetch and superfetch options within Windows 7 that take up more of your RAM. So you need at least one gigabyte to two gigabytes to run comfortably, with the recommended amount being four gigabytes. Windows XP also run, runs fine on only one only on one CPU, but you can put three if you want, and you can run it on very, very low RAM. I find this to be a huge advantage compared to um, other other um, virtual machines because you'll be sharing all the resources with Mac OS X in the meantime. While it may not seem secure, it won't really affect you. It's, uh, it won't really affect the Mac OS X security, and you can always use a free virus scanner if you want to with Windows XP. It'll always be safe that way, and it's very fast to simply reinstall and make backups of Windows XP, especially if it takes up less space, which would be very beneficial to any user of, a, of a, an SSD-related Mac. It also starts up very, very quickly on any SSD. You can see it only takes several seconds, and it already turns on, and I've been using this virtual machine for almost two years now. This is certainly not a fresh install of this virtual of this um, virtual machine. So it's definitely a very big bonus. Windows XP is also very stable. I believe it's on on one of its uh, on one of the later service packs. I believe it's service pack three or even four. So by uh, by all means, Windows XP is a very very stable operating system. So you won't be experiencing any any problems in terms of stability, crashing, etc. So that's a very, very big bonus compared to Windows 7. Also, you may not be using many of Windows 7 features because you'll be having your home OS always with you. So that's certainly something. So these are just my two cents as to why I believe that Windows XP is a better operating system than Windows 7. You can leave your comments below on what you think and provide your opinions as to why you think the way you do. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoy it. And if you have any other comments or questions, Please comment below and give this video a like. So, thanks for watching.